Cows. Beautiful. Just moo. I like cows. Anyway. Oh, this thing's hot. Yeah, you literally just drove it in here. It's because it's broken. Yeah. Kind of. Again. Yeah, it's okay. So what, what's broken? Uh, the starter uh, nut has backed off and somehow the uh, power steering cap disappeared. So totally not because I left it at a gas station. It's never my fault. Sure. Hey guys, welcome to Daddy's Money Garage. One of the best parts about living in Tennessee, uh, if you're born and raised in Nashville, in the city, likely your family has a farm. John, your family has a farm. There's there's land. Yeah, there's land and grass. Out here there's cows. And barns. And, yeah. But we're at my family farm uh, that also has barns. And as everybody knows, barns are used for storing your first car, like that one. That's actually, that's actually my grandfather's. Uh, it's a 53 Plymouth Cranbrook. We're gonna do some stuff on that because it needs, it needs floors. This doesn't count. This isn't my first car, but it's my first muscle car. And it's in here because I broke it. And it's taking up space for what today's video is about. And that's my dad's first car. Him and my mom drove it around in, a, in high school, actually. It's a car that's very important to the family. And that's really pretty much why we're doing this video. Not so much as for entertainment, just, just as like documenting this car's existence and story for the future. Uh, so if you get entertainment out of it, good. But really, this video is for me and my family. You helped me build this car. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like generational. This car is ours. Mm -hmm. That car out there in the other barn is theirs. Yeah. This thing's fixed now, so we can just get this thing out and go, go to the other barn and talk about that. Let's go to the other barn. Yeah, that's, that's making a lot less grinding noises. Did you fix that since we had to put it back in there before leaving Tony's like a year ago? You know, if it, if it only happens once a year, then it's like Christmas. Except I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm willing to tolerate it. I love it out here. There's a lot of good times out here. This car, when I was a kid, was not running. It wasn't running until last year, but it's a legend of its own. Hey, John, there's your truck. So tired. It needs work. It just needs air conditioning is what it needs. Otherwise, it's pretty okay. This car hasn't been running for even a year. I think when I was a kid, it wasn't even running then. It, it had sat since like 93 or something. Yeah, and you've I, been talking about it since I've forever, known you. Forever. And it sat in that barn over there that we were just in. And I remember being a kid, I would uh, get in it and try to play with the steering wheel. But before my dad parked it, he covered it in armor all. So, so, so it was like maple syrup and it was really easy to tell that I had been in the car. And, uh, and over the past year, he got it running. It's a beauty. It's like rolling history. Those are my parents, Joe and Sylvia. Hey. And this is a 75 Camaro. This is your first car. Yeah. So. I was 15 when I bought it. I was uh, paid for it working at Lee's Chicken. Yeah. What year was that? That was junior in high school. I think I was a junior in high school. Yeah. When I bought it. it cost me $2,200 and a haircut. I think it's worth a little bit more than $2,200 now. Yeah. Yep. So, like, what condition was it in, was it in when you got it? Uh, aesthetically, it wasn't in that bad a condition. It wasn't all hot rotted up, but I I bought it from my dad, who got bought it from my brother-in-law, um, who at the time, my brother-in-law and my sister, um, they were trying to sell it to come up with some funds, and my dad bought it from them and offered to sell it to me for uh, what he paid for it. If I got my hair, that's the last time my hair was short. Uh, was the 80s? Yeah, when I was 15. I don't know what year that was. But, uh... 83? About that. 83, yeah. so 83, 84, somewhere around there. This was like a, still a kind of new car, but anyway. But it wasn't running real great. It, it uh, still got the original block in it. But the uh, motor's been redone. I mean, my daddy built it uh, shortly after I got it. And my dad pretty much engineered all the... He's the one who went through it and figured out what everything needs. He's the gearhead. Was that was it built on on this farm? No, 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 no. The engine stand you used for that one was the same engine stand, but it was at a different place. Oh, that's why it actually runs right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the engine stand. It used to be a lot prettier than it is now. Here we are. It's been parked for a long time. Yeah, my niece Kelly, 
came home from the hospital when she was born in this car. And and this thing was modified in the 80s, and it ne like as it sits is how it was modified. Pretty much, nothing like has the, happened. The it got furry, parked in '95. The furry seat covers. Yeah, it got parked in '95 and stayed in that in that shop for 25 years. Yeah. It didn't run or nothing. And what did it need to even get running? I went through everything uh, as far as yeah, all the you know the all the fluids and the plugs and filters and wires and rotor button everything you know all the typical stuff just to get it going good yeah and it, it really fired up pretty easy I cleaned out the gas tank because it had been sitting with gas in it uh, and we had problems i don't know if some of the trash got from the gas tank to the fuel pump but even when we were first got it going again we were having problems getting the fuel pump to pump right but yeah. it did finally start working and it ran good for the rest of that year uh, and then it went out and then it went out yeah. and we just replaced it austin got us a new gas pump and we just replaced it like a week ago these louvers though this is, those are what, can you even buy those anymore? I doubt it. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> they need to be cleaned, and repainted. Yeah, they're metal, okay. they're aluminum. It sounded kind of crinkly. Back in the 80s, all the Camaro, you weren't a cool Camaro unless you had the louvers. There were no Z28s. No, Z28s yeah. didn't exist in 75. But I mean, this is not a standard LT. LT was the, the grandpa Camaro. When yeah. this was new, it was it didn't have, you know, it didn't look cool, it had the- Wait, so the spoiler wasn't on? No, it didn't have the spoiler. I think I remember when I was a kid, you were talking about how many times the spoiler has gotten broken, or was it the, the front, front spoiler? spoiler's been broke, I don't know how many times. From like jumping railroad tracks? Y yeah, <laughs> driving like a dumbass. This license plate frame is definitely period, that's two of a kind, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a very exclusive Camaro club that me and my friends started back in the 80s. Very and there were two car, two Two Camaros in the club. So <laughs> exotic Camaros. Minted at Hickory Hollow yeah. Mall. Yeah, yeah, Hickory Hollow Mall. It, it, yeah. It's still in like good shape too. Like yeah. that's <laughs> the tires on it are the same ones from the eighties or the nineties. Uh probably nineties. Probably ninety ninety three, somewhere around there. Yeah. They hold air. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> and this trailer hitch has never pulled anything. Not from me. Now yeah. my my brother in law. Um, I think he pulled a boat back and forth to the lake with it. Yeah. So that's last time it's been used. We dated in high school. Yeah. And this was <laughs> yeah. This was the creature that did it. Yeah. <laughs> Not many people hold on to the first cars this long. I can't. It's sentimental. There's been many times that I thought I just need to sell it. I just need to get rid of it. And every time I come out and look at it or sit in it or, or turn a wrench or do anything it's like i can't get rid of this there's it's too many memories too in many it. memories yeah there's too many memories it still had the tin when i got it going had a secrets tin that had change in it from where we used to cruise family billiards in hermitage that she had that she had her her quarters in it to go play pac-man Pac or whatever back, back at billiards <laughs> and it was still in it it may still be in it it's it was still, still in it a couple still, of years I, you know i think I, I think i know exactly what you're talking about yeah. because even when i was a kid messing around in this thing i would find that be like oh there's quarters and stuff in here yeah. <laughs> it's it's been in there since then oh the whole yeah it's got rust all over it the fact the matter is though like this thing sat for 20 years and the paint still looks this good yeah well it's set inside it's been in my dad's shop for 25 yeah. years and hasn't been out in the weather the inside of the thing is just, just oh it's so 70s it's great you can smell the 70s in this car <laughs> and that back seat's like immaculate is it still covered in armor all Probably I yeah. overdid it with the armor on. You can still, even yeah. the steering wheel when you grab it now, it's it's like got some sticky film on it that will not come off. And the the tape player works. Yeah, still got the tape, tape player still works. J, JVC tape deck that we put in there back in the 80s, and it still plays. And oh my my power booster. I think actually that was already it when I bought it. I think that was my brother-in-law. He put that in there. Oh, the equalizer thing. Yeah. 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 I was say because I remember when we, when it was first running like last year, we were driving it and the. And you're and we didn't t we tested the tape player to see where it's like oh my god it still works yeah it still plays so you got just, like Slayer tapes and Metallica and just all that. get a cassette adapter and plug your little uh... Metallica Creeping Death it's still in there. <laughs> that's this car is so period correct it's great <laughs> the other door is really bad this one's not too this bad this one's not bad but for just about every Camaro you get from this this air sag is gonna have saggy doors that other door is really bad these wheels though these are like these look like General Lee wheels yeah i think they are i my i got those um i traded those to a guy i work with that i had some et kel stars that my parents got me for christmas that started rusting they were chrome wheels and i wanted aluminum wheels and the guy that at my work traded them traded me for them that's but, where they came from but that's the coolest thing i, I mean like this thing is a time capsule it, it's been modified in the 80s and stayed that way 
Yeah, it's, it's nothing like it started its life. It needs a lot of attention. You can see this front spoiler has been, I've, I, that's like the fifth one I've put on it. Yeah. It needs, a, it needs another one. It was cutting the grass earlier when you heard oh, was it. Yeah, that's, 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 we should just sharpen this thing and, and use it as a lawnmower. <laughs> That'd be a fun way to mow. Yeah. Get it done really quick. You want to pop the hood? Sure. My my dad was the pretty much the engineer. He's he's the guy that knows all the car stuff more so than me. He helped. If it wasn't for him, this car would have never been born. Now it's rust. Back yeah. in the '80s, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was. I mean, you can tell it was chrome painted. Everything. It was really pretty. Yeah, and uh, it will be revived. Only I'm not going chrome this time. It's going to be aluminum. But everything works. And oh, yeah. like everything, everything that was that you know that it's nothing's changed. It, you rebuilt the carburetor. I did that just yeah. to get it going. I did that the year we got it going. But that's the same carburetor. Same carburetor. Yeah. Everything that was on this car in the 80s is still on it. 350 small block. What all? What all's been done to it? Pretty much everything. Uh, I think it's got the 11 to 1 uh, pistons. Uh, it's been bored 30 over. I don't know what size the cam is, but my dad does. My dad's the one that did all the figuring out, but it's the biggest cam we could put in it and be efficient because it is an automatic. It's got power brakes. Uh, the power, it does have power brakes, but now because of the size of the cam, the brakes don't hardly, they're horrible. I need a <laughs> vacuum booster. It don't want to stop. It goes really good, but it doesn't want to stop. Like what you've told me before, all brakes just slow down. Yeah, brakes don't, don't, don't matter. At the time, it was 100%. It was one of the baddest cars on the road back yeah, I was about to say, this Not car... Not anymore, but... I've, I've heard multiple times that this car was a legend in Sunga County. Yeah, well, uh, it was Davidson County. Oh, that's right. It wasn't yeah. up here yet. Yeah, it was yeah. In Davidson. Davidson County. Wasn't the Davis... Uh, daily driving in this car was sideways at 120, so... Yeah. It's yeah, pretty much regular cause driving. Because, like you said, you were like 15 when you got this car? Yeah. And when was it built? Uh, like, or, so in the, 17 or 18. And, and so you just out there just... Just, just destroying the thing. Yeah. That's when we were dating. Yeah, he's scared of everybody that rode in this yeah. car. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people wouldn't get back in this car. <laughs> it's my fault because I was stupid. Very Jumping dumb. railroad tracks. Did you run from cops? I don't want to say that. <laughs> well, it's been long enough. It's, it's been long enough. Long. Statu no, no, statue no. of limitations is out on that. You know I might have to climb under it. The hinge, hinge latch just broke today. So, uh, the camera overheated. And we stuck it in the fridge, so now we're good. I mean, it, it, does it feel hot now, John? No, it's oh, all right. Okay. It was like nuclear hot. What rear end did this thing have in it back in the day? Uh, it was born with, it was like a two, I should have done my research, it's like a 276 or something. It was an extremely high gear rear end. But it would let it ring out to some. Yeah, oh yeah, at the top <laughs> end was crazy on it, but it didn't have any takeoff. Yeah. And I ended up getting this from, uh, a friend of mine, Eric Powell, the goon, he does the goon comics and stuff. I don't know if y'all know it, but he sold me this rear end out of his Camaro that he had sitting in his yard, which this is a, a, a pause traction 12 bolt. It's got a, and then I bought the 390 ring and pinion that's in it. So it's a 390 pause traction 12 bolt rear end. And my brother-in-law who I bought this car from, had, he's got like one of every, he's got so many cars, it's crazy. But uh, he, he bought the rest of the car that the, this rear end came out of. So the rear end that was originally in this car is now somewhere at his house. He's got tons of cars. Yeah. And they're like showroom. They're they're nice. They're not like rust bucket or nothing. <laughs> this, this, this ain't a rust, not a rust bucket. This is no you should see have you seen the jet in person? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's holes developing in it. So it'll roast them, but it tops out pretty quick. Yeah, the, the top end on this car is non existent anymore, but it'll get there real quick. Traction bars. Those traction okay. bars are actually part of the rear end. They're yeah. not. They're not the kind of bolts over the springs. Yeah. Well, it's, it looks like it's got a U bolt over it, but that's well, just if you look, retainer. Come back, look at this end. You can see where they bolt on the bottom of the. Yeah, those are some heavy duty. Yeah. Like I guess those were necessary though, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not adjusted. <laughs> As you can see, there's like, what is that? About three inches between the stopper and the spring. Quite yeah. a bit of daylight there. Yeah. yeah. Well, the reason it's like that because I just <laughs> recently aired up the. Uh, uh, air shocks which it still has air shocks has air shocks and they still hold air wow but i mean if you let the air out this the it'll it'll, it'll go back yeah, to it'll go back well i guess let's uh i guess you want to fire it up it's got mufflers doesn't it yeah they're uh turbo turbo tunes i think <laughs> Park 
doesn't want to oh, work. Oh, the parking pole's a little... Oh, yeah. That's something else needs to be, needs to, needs to be lined up and doesn't want to go to the parking Has it, does it, has it always idled as low as it does when it's in here? Uh, since we built it, yeah. Yeah. Since 85 is somewhere around there. Does the oil pressure drop too low or anything? I don't actually have an oil pressure gauge. Oh, it's I, got a light. I got a light. Yeah. Uh, I need a gauge. One of these days I'm going to have it back on the road and it'll be back in shape. You know, hearing this car make noise when it never made noise when I was a kid is just amazing. This is what high school sounded like? Yeah. First, first two. Yeah. <laughs> Very much a part of both of our lives. Yeah. Not like how the Plymouth is mine and Sabrina's. Yeah. I guess it's like generational. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't for my dad, but y'all saw his car a while ago. Yeah. Got to get it back in shape. Yeah, eventually. That needs to have some work done to it. If it wasn't for him, this car would not exist. Yeah. Or at least not in the condition. Not in the, it wouldn't be a hot rod. It would well, be well, an old man's car. I don't think that would exist if you didn't teach me stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it literally is generational. Yeah, yeah. Please let me drive this thing. I never thought I would ever drive this car. You're sure about this? Oh, there's still armor all on the steering wheel. Yeah, it's very sticky. <laughs> This is going to be fun. got crashed it's been off the road several times but it's never i've never, never wrecked like, it bunged up and i don't know how i don't know how i just <laughs> just sheer luck what is y'all's favorite story on this car there was that time that we were that we picked up melissa my best friend and yeah. uh, we were going just to go get cheeseburgers and <laughs> we were on 109 between mount juliet and lebanon and i don't remember if we we're coming back you're, were, or, are you talking about the, the, the hayride? The Halloween? No, we were going to get cheeseburgers because <laughs> she remembers it. Okay. She was in the back seat and uh, you decided you wanted to pass the person that was in front of us. But when you did, there was somebody on the other side. And instead <laughs> of backing off, you decided to go a little bit faster. And she was ducked down in the fetal position <laughs> in the back seat. Said, all I wanted was a cheeseburger. All I wanted was a cheeseburger. We were like 110 miles an hour. We got over just before we. It was that was pretty fun. I've had so many close calls in it, but like I said, I never wrecked it. Yeah. So Chris Mangrum. Yeah, uh, Chris, my buddy Chris. Poor Chris. Mm -hmm. He's still my friend. He's he's played drums for me in several different bands over the years. Um. He's one of my best friends, but uh, I've tortured him in this car so many times. <laughs> I'm, I'll be surprised if he ever gets in it again if we bring it home. <laughs> what was it that scared him so badly? Just me driving like a stupid person. And and uh, please don't. I, I see kids driving today like I drove PSA. back then, and I'm like, what is wrong with them? It's a public service. And then there's this. Yeah, this this is our public service announcement. Don't kids don't drive like me. I'm, I've mellowed out. Well, he got yeah. out of the back seat one day with tire soot all over his face. <laughs> Luckily, me and you have survived driving that car. You haven't really done anything too dangerous. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're just used to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is really more of a documentary for our purposes. But hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.